Are you ready to change your mental diet and get everything you want in two days? If so, try this technique. This is again another very powerful Neville Goddard technique that trains you to be able to manifest anything that you want and as soon as two days time. Everything around you in your reality is a result of your thinking and your feeling. What we project, what we believe, what we determine and what we affirm to us as true is how we influence the reality around us. Everything is energy and frequency and we determine what the energy and frequency is going to show to us as our reality based on our thoughts and feelings because our thoughts and our feelings determine the vibration that intertwines with that energy that almost like manipulates the energy to manifest physical circumstances in our lives. So everything that we are experiencing right now, whether consciously or unconsciously, is to do with where we are in our thoughts and our feelings, what we are determined to be true. So any struggles that we have, any things that are going well, and anything that we find that we might feel a bit indifferent about, everything has on some level to do with exactly what we're thinking and what we're feeling and what we're putting out in the world around us as our reality. So in order for us to take that knowledge and take it one step further to create everything that we do want, we need to be more conscious of what we think and what we feel. Because the more conscious we are on what we think and what we feel, the more we can consciously create circumstances in our life that we do want rather than what we don't want. Think of the world as a canvas for everything that we have going on in here. Our thoughts, our beliefs, our emotions and our feelings. And you are the painter. You are the artist. We can actually design the picture of our reality how we want to do it. So this is why it's important to go inward and if you've done a lot of spiritual work, maybe Dark Knight of the Soul or Shadow Work in the past, we need to go inside and see what it is that are we defining in our reality right now. If you look at the areas in your life that you might have some issues where things aren't working out or you want to improve in your life or things just aren't going in the way that you want, ask yourself what is your opinion on this situation? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? And what are you determining as being your reality right now? And you may have heard the term mental diet. This is where the mental diet thing comes from because it's in our mind, in our subconscious beliefs that we hold on to, which can be from any trauma, any insecurities and fears and emotions that we've been carrying from the past. These can form into our core beliefs and our core beliefs have the direct influence on the world around us because if they are a core belief, that we have a strong emotionally charged feeling associated with them. And the stronger the feeling, the stronger the emotion, the stronger the energy goes out there. So this is why it's good to look at what your core beliefs are. Have a mental diet to see where you potentially are creating more of the same experiences based on these fears and traumas. Neville Goddard said that if we can control our mental diet, have a mental diet, and really be very clear and not entertain any negative thoughts whatsoever and only focus on what we do want, then we have the power to manifest anything that we want extremely quickly, in some cases as early as two days. Neville Goddard says that a man's mental conversations attract his life. So whatever you are saying in your mind is going to attract those experiences to you. And he also says that if there is no change to the inner talking, then the story of the man will always remain the same. So in other words, if we don't change the mental habits, the thoughts, the processes, the feelings, then we're always going to keep creating the same old thing. So what we want to do is focus on what it is that we do want and keep focusing on those thoughts even if we don't really believe, and this is where things are like affirmations coming, it's just catching those negative thoughts and not entertaining them, not giving them any more of their energy because they're just a habit. And the more we can resist those habits, the easier it is over a period of time to not be as addicted to go into that same train of thinking. The habits begin to break up the more we can consistently ignore the impulse to act on them. If you say thoughts like, I am always lacking, the world is a scary place, things just don't work out and you're so stressed, that's going to create a very different reality or you're going to see a very different reality as opposed to the other person who will be saying that I never lack anything. I'm always infinitely abundant. Life is so wonderful. I feel so loved, safe and secure. Money and abundance is coming to me all the time and everything works out perfectly when the time is right. Two different mindsets, two different sets of feelings, two different projections of reality two different manifestation types in someone's life. So this is a technique that you can do just to help be aware of your mental chatter. 
because if you can change like how go on a mental diet then you can begin to change your life immediately neville goddard says that we have the potential to even make humongous changes in our life within a two or three day period but you have to be very committed to that to really not entertain the negative thoughts but in general don't put yourself under that much pressure to get it done in two days because this is just a wonderful habit to just master and do in general throughout your life even if it takes you a bit longer to do and you chip away at it and you begin to shift that perspective once you've shifted that perspective you're going to see amazing results so the step-by-step -step process is to number one not analyze or believe any negative thoughts as soon as a negative thought comes up flip it to its opposite because anything that you are having a negative thought on is something that either is not working in your life and is an area that you want to improve. So if we need to adopt what Neville Goddard says in the teachings of the law of assumption, where we have to feel like we've already got what we want in our present reality, then we want to say the opposite of what's not working right. Because obviously, if something's not working, then that's something that we want to improve and focus on. So even though a negative thought may come up, and the mind will habitually want to do this. Just don't entertain them, just let them go and immediately catch yourself, flip it to its positive. If you start getting feelings of fear, just start saying that I am safe and secure. All is safe and well in my world. If you want to start focusing on contracting more money, but you might be reminded by any bills or debts that are due or the lack of money in your bank account, instead of focusing on that, just immediately say no. I'm infinitely abundant. Money is flowing to me constantly. Money is coming to me all the time, and I know that I'm going to receive my next amount of money, always, 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 because I'm always in a state of receivership. If you're feeling really stressed, just say, I'm peaceful. I'm willing to be at peace. So you can see that every single time a negative thought comes up, don't analyze it, don't entertain it, just immediately flip it to its opposite, because that's what you want, to, that's what you want to truly manifest, because the areas that you want to improve in your life are the areas where you have a limiting belief from. So flip it to its positive. Assume that the feeling that is already re in your reality. And the more that you can do this, the more you'll begin to get momentum. The more momentum that you will feel, the more you'll begin to feel this as if, you, if it doesn't feel good to begin with or doesn't feel true to begin with, it will do the more you do it. And it will become more, you'll be expecting your manifestations to happen. It won't be a case of, is this going to work? Oh, I don't know about this. I'm feeling a lack your natural state is going to be of receivership and in that state of you just know that your manifestation is going to come because you are actually training your mind in this whole process the more you do this because this is becoming a habit changing your thinking changing your perspective changing what you're projecting out will change your reality and don't analyze any circumstances don't analyze what may happen what may not happen just let it all go just literally one catch yourself well for actually one start thinking positive and what it is that you want two when the negative thought comes up keep flipping it back to its opposite three don't analyze anything just don't analyze the when's the how's or what for's and don't analyze the negative thinking and the fourth one just keep repeating this process the more that you can do this and not entertain the negative thoughts even if you're just like i have to think negatively well just think no i'm not going to do it for now I can do that whenever I want later on if I really have to do that. But right now, I am going to focus all my attention on the positive because this is what I want. I'm clearing up my mental diet. I'm on a diet. This is a mental diet. I'm clearing up the thought process in my mind. And I'm going to see the re results. When you go on a diet, you see the results in your body. Well, on this mental diet, I'm going to see the results in my life. You generally have the power to change what you don't want to hear to what you do want to hear. And the more you can believe that and the more that you are defining that as your reality, you are rewiring your neural pathways in your mind, you're changing the core beliefs in your subconscious mind, changing the habit, changing the way that you look at life, changing your feeling state, shifting your energy and vibration. And you are naturally mastering the law of assumption when you're doing this because you are stepping yourself into the feeling place like your wishes are already fulfilled and you are committed to not give any entertainment or rise to any negative thoughts that are saying the opposite that are rooted in lack because you know that you are master at manifesting and to not manifest from a place of lack but to manifest from a place of abundance and you know that the more that you do this the easier it will get the more natural and normal it will feel and the more momentum that you will feel 
And when you feel all these and you start seeing results come into your life, it's just going to give you that your mind that much more conviction. This process works. And when you truly believe it, you get your own testimonials, you'll find it easier and easier and your life will absolutely transform and change because the momentum is there. The commitment's there. The habit's there. The new way of being is there and you've shifted your point of attraction. But let me know in the comments down below how you got on with this technique. Have you tried something similar to this before? Or what experiences that you found from doing this? How long did it take for you to manifest the experiences that you wanted? But if you're finding it difficult to let go of the negative thinking, or maybe you've got too much anxiety or fear going on to really feel committed to your positive affirmations and intentions, check out this video up here and it will give you a video about how you can relieve stress and tension with a simple tapping technique.